Hello and welcome to Scrapping on Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with Pink Fresh Friday for April 2024. And I am using the delightful collection from Pink Fresh. I have the 12 by 12 papers um, and then three or four different um, kinds of embellishments and stickers. And I am going to document this picture of the sunset in Holden Beach, North Carolina. And I've already picked this picture because I felt like this was most fitting color wise. And then I was thinking I would use that white on the back, but I ended up actually using something on the front. And I've pulled this piece of cardstock that's this light blue because um, I wanted to bring that blue color in. Um, so I have my papers, my embellishments, and my pictures. So let's see how this goes. So I love, love, love this picture. Um, it's so pretty. It I just took it on a whim one evening while we were at the beach. I'm going to mat it on this light blue paper. And then I'm going to double mat it on the black. Now I took my Tim Holtz stress tool around that light blue. So there's a distinction between the picture and that blue paper. Um, I wanted it to be that light blue because I wanted to bring the blue from the picture into the layout because I felt like the paper I'm using was bringing a lot of the colors from like the actual sunset part. So originally I was going to use the back of this paper um, and it's like white with like a floral and it had a little orange to it. But then I found this strip that says take a walk and feel this warmth of the sun on your face. Take a moment to value the present. And I thought that was pretty fitting. I did not really take a walk other than from inside the house to the outside of the house to take the picture. But I thought that it was pretty fitting of what, you know, the picture kind of means. So I put that on there. I do distress the top and bottom of that strip. And then I took a piece of leftover um, from that light blue paper and I tore the bottom and then I'm just going to use it to kind of hold my picture. And um, I roughed it up pretty good at the bottom and then I'm going to bring in a little bit more of that light blue again up in the top right corner um, here in just a minute. I pulled all the embellishments that I wanted to try and use and um, decided I would build another little cluster up here in the top right corner. Um, I got that light blue paper and I'm putting this little um, vellum paper that says beautiful day and um, it's got like the real pretty colors with it and so I wanted to have that gold kind of sprinkled about because you see I've got those two butterflies on the left over there and I wanted to add a little extra gold um, so there's a smidge of gold on here so I put it up here in the top right corner um, as kind of like a um, just a cluster a little extra something up at the top uh, this is a very simple layout I took about 22 minutes to do this entire layout and part of that was him hawing around looking at embellishments and debating on colors and papers and things like that um this month and I, really i just need to resolve myself for april to be slow easy months every year because it's my craziest month at work you'd think i do taxes but i don't <laughs> uh, but i do work with numbers and in a school and april is always my craziest month so super simple layouts like this are perfect for me. Um, I'm actually late getting my um, Pink Fresh Friday up. Normally we post them at three o'clock and I am recording this. It is currently 1 a.m. on Saturday. And so <laughs> you, you'll be getting this early in the morning on Saturday and hopefully I'll have my Simple Story Saturday done <laughs> before the end of Saturday is over. Oh, you all, I'm behind. But I refuse to let it stress me out because scrapbooking is my joy and I don't want it to ever take that joy part of it away and make it a chore. So um, I'm building another cluster down here at the bottom. I have this little strip from the collection and then a little word phrase that says enjoy this moment. And I thought that that was really fitting. I could either title this beautiful day. I could title this point a view. I could title this um, enjoy this moment. I mean, there's so many different words on here that are really fitting. And I considered actually putting a like black title on here, 
but I, I really was enjoying the simplicity. So after I get some of the butterflies on there and tuck some different things in each of the little um, clusters, I got those little banners up at the top. And I'm going to pull out the enamel, act, uh, the enamel dots and put a cluster of three in each of the clustered spaces. And like I said, super simple, super laid back. It could be completely over done could you know you can go either way with layouts honestly and today was just a day for simple so i am going to journal a little bit under here which is pretty good for me because i'm terrible about that i dated it and everything i even put the time on here because it was at 7 34 in the evening um and the sun sets on the beach you know it's kind of hard to beat that so but that is it it was like i said super simple i think 22 minutes when i said hit stop and um, just built some clusters um, and let the picture really do the work as well as this beautiful paper from Pink Fresh. Um, so I hope you, if you haven't already, please go check out everybody who hopped along yesterday with Pink Fresh Friday. Um, I am eager to go see what collections people are using and um, what they are, you know, adding on because there's a few other things you know we can add on that's not pink fresh but it's always fun to watch how people create so i hope you go check them out i love it you give me a thumbs up if you like this video and or my layout and i hope you'll come back and see me again really soon have a great day i hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love and happy scrapping